50 years of armed conflict has ended, but today Colombians continue to face a more silent and invisible threat, landmines. CGTN visited Tolemaida, a military airbase where soldiers are testing the latest technology to disarm landmines. This anti-landmine boot is one of the technologies in development. It weighs one kilo and promises to minimize the damage from a landmine. These protruding parts on the base are supposed to distribute the waves of the explosion, and the material will help mitigate and reduce the impact on the body. In this test, the military uses 250 grams of the explosive pentalite, just one-fourth of the standard explosives in a landmine, and the effects are devastating. This is how the legs of a man are left after a landmine. Officials point out that it can cost less than a dollar to create a landmine versus a hundred dollars to deactivate just one of them. Because of the training for the soldier to deactivate the mine, the technology he or she uses, and even to get out to these areas, is very costly. Plastic bottles and syringes are some of the materials used by armed groups to create landmines. The soldiers explained that in the past seven years, landmine manufacturers stopped using metal to make the mines harder to detect. That is why new detectors were created to find the mines through variations in the terrain's density. The noise you just heard means that there is possibly a mine here without any metal. Let's check. Thousands of Colombian soldiers are working non-stop to demine former guerrilla territories. In 2016, they destroyed nearly 160 explosive artifacts and cleared mines from around 260,000 square meters of land. Michelle Vegas, CGTN, Bogota.